Welcome to Farming Simulator 19, another special episode. This one is about loading and unloading seed and fertilizer from tanks and seeders, but also there's a pallet money hack I think you might find useful. Come along with me, Mr. Sealy P. Okay, this is a seed and fertilizer loading and unloading kind of tutorial and a hack. There's a couple of things in here that I want to show you. A couple of people have commented, messaged me and let me know this. I've had a look online to see if there's any videos and I can't actually find any. I want to start off this video by making an apology, a massive apology. Okay, this is to golf cart jockey and I can only apologize. The video I put out um, earlier today about the money cheat was done from me completely honestly. Somebody messaged me, explained how to do it I didn't put a video out yesterday because a few people have posted videos already. Um, I had a couple of people message me today say, can you do a video on the um, the money cheat? So I did the video. Um, Golf Cart Jockey's channel is really starting to take off. He's struggling to get to his first thousand, which we all did. When we all start out, he wants to get to his first thousand subscribers. He put out a video on that, um, the money cheat, um, yesterday I think it was, and it's done really, really well. And then I posted my video and people are watching mine and not his and it's not fair on him and I honestly from the heart did not mean to do that it was not my intention to step on his on his toes what I want from any of you that are watching my channel that like what I do if you like my channel you like what I do you will like his too he does some really really great stuff there's a load of guys that I've been doing stuff with recently I've mentioned them before Farmer Min and DJ Goham and Golf Cart Jockey Farmer Pierce um, Big Daddy, there's a whole lot of guys out there that are putting out some really great content. Please go over and check out their channels, but specifically Golf Cart Jockeys. Go and check out his videos, give him a like and subscribe. I want him to get to a thousand and beyond because he deserves it. He's working hard like all new YouTubers do. Okay, please, that would, I mean, that would really help me out and it, you know, I feel terrible for what I did and I really do mean that. Um, so anyway, moving on with this. I'm hoping with this I don't step on anyone's toes. People may have already put videos out on this, I don't know. But with FS19 now, we have a situation where we've got certain vehicles, like the Rubicon being one of them, um, where this can fertilize and uh, use herbicide so we can use it as a weed killer as well. The question was asked a while back, that's fine if you fill this up with herbicide on FS19 that was it what can you do with it you use it all up or it just sits in there there's no no way to store it there's no storage and they said don't worry you'll be able to do something about that so what I'm going to do is jump in um, next to me I've got a fertilizer and next to that I've got a herbicide so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click L3 and what I should be doing now hopefully if it's coming with the right one <coughs> excuse me I should be filling up with 2,000 litres of fertiliser, which I have now done. Now I could go off, spray that on my field, do whatever I want to do. Um, I may have a load left in there and decide, oh, hang on a minute, what do I do now? Because my next job's herbicide and I've got fertiliser in the tank. This doesn't have two separate tanks. So what you can do now is if I press R1, it says unload. If I press unload, it should to the side of me. Oh, over there you go. It's now taken all of that immediately straight back out the tank and put it over here which means I can now go over to my herbicide and I can fill up with herbicide now this will work with cedars it works with seed refill tanks it works with front tanks additional tanks it works with seed with fertilizer all the rest of it you just go to R1 and where it says unload, press triangle and it immediately unloads it back onto the ground. So now my tank's empty again. And like I say, that will work with all of them. That's the first part of it. That's basically, that's the loading and unloading function for seeders, fertilizer spreaders, sprayers, anything like that. So no longer do you have that situation where you've got them half full of stuff and you don't know what to do with it. What you can also do when you're done with it you can sell them back again so if these are using up slot counts and if I go into here to pallets and big bags for example that says minus one minus one minus four because I've got one of these already so that's taken up a slot until that's used so I could store a load of these I could put a load of them to one side 
um, but that's kind of money invested. Now we come on to the slightly trickier side of this. Um, and this is for um, contracting. So doing contracting jobs. So I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm going to go along to a contracting job. And there's one on field 23, I think it was. That one there. No, that's harvesting. Where's all the fertilising jobs gone? Field 26, there you go. Field 26, now that's a fairly cheap one to do. It needs fertilising and that'll be solid fertiliser. Now that will only pay 1,841. If I lease the equipment, you can take 349 off that. So that's going to put it down somewhere around 1,500 is what I'll get paid for that job. So I'm going to lease the items because I don't own them. So I've leased them, which is wonderful. So I come out, my leased items for that job are sitting here. So this, is, this kind of covers a bit of contracting too, but it's mainly about the seed and fertiliser situation. The problem is now, I've got to pay out of my own pocket for the fertiliser to go in that. The problem with that is, if I'm only going to make 1,500, if I go to buy um, a solid fertiliser, which is there, that's 1,600 to buy. <laughs> I'm only going to make 1,500 on the job. So you straight away think, mm, okay, I'm out of pocket. <laughs> but you have to kind of view it as an investment because you are investing in the fertilizer, kind of. Stick with me, it will make sense in a moment. So if I click on that and buy one, scary as that may be. Now this holds, I think, 2,000 something litres, I think. So I don't know, do I need to buy a second one, maybe? Ooh, let's put it in first and see how we look. Now, the actual fertiliser in the field, I'll skip that. Don't worry. It's more about the uh, the seed and fertiliser situation. It's not so much about... Look that. I mentioned in my video the other day uh, about wanting to get rid of that. This bit here, when it comes up at the bottom, that bit there at the bottom, how do you get rid of that? And people said to me, oh no, you just go up into the menu and you take away the help menu. The help menu is that top left hand corner one. It doesn't do anything about that. Because if I do that now, sorry, I know I'm digressing slightly, and take off the help window, if I drive forward, you think, okay, it won't come up again. Go back again. Yes, it does. Help window makes no difference whatsoever, which is actually a bit frustrating. So, put that back on and we'll go back to the contracting screen. What I need to do now is fill this up. So that'll be, well, it's not going to fill up. It'll take a thousand litres. I'm just worried now how much of this I'm, I'm going to get another one. I mean, this is the point. This is going to put me out of pocket on the whole job. But I've got to look at it as I'm investing. But don't worry, because there's uh, the hack will come later. You may already know about this. If you know about it, fantastic. If you don't, you are going to be pleasantly surprised. Up until, of course, they get rid of it and you can't do it anymore. I don't know. It's a bit of an odd one. <clears throat> these things are all popping up, and I'm, I'm trying to get to a point where I can start my next Let's Play. <laughs> and there's all these videos, guide tos and hacks, and all various different things that you know people have asked me to do, and they're showing me. So I'm off to field 26, which I think is over this way somewhere. Now what I have found, I did a couple of contracts just as a test, just to see how things would work out. And what I have found is the fertilizer spray, I don't know about this, we'll see with the granules, seems to go a lot further than it did in FS17. So whilst we are investing in a thousand litres at a time, or the bigger ones, two thousand litres, it seems to go a lot further. So um, yeah, um, that's brilliant. I did say field 26, didn't I? What was my contract? Field 26, fertilising you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've forgotten the field I'm going to. So anyway, what I'm going to do is go off, fertilise the field, and I'm going to see what I've got left in my tank at the end of it, and that's when we'll come to the hack bit. So I will see you in a bit, once I've fertilised the field. We'll see how much I've got left in my 2,000 litres, and... Uh, yeah, then we'll do the next bit, which I think we'll be pleasantly surprised about. I think it's just really cool that you can unload your tanks now. That makes life so much easier. Especially when I used to upgrade to new cedars and various different things, and I might have a cedar with a load of seed in, or fertiliser and a you know, sprayer, and that kind of just gets wasted. So anyway, I'll see you in a bit. That's uphill, and it doesn't like that, so I think what I'm going to do is turn sideways and go across the hill. That way I should be able to keep my speed up. In theory, let's see how we go. So 
still quite slow, but anyway, it's alright. Actually, before I... <laughs> sorry, I went really quiet. The one thing I have realised as well, compared to FS17, is because you're now paying for the seed and fertiliser that's in your tank, if you've paid for that, I'm a lot more careful. You don't have an unlimited tank anymore. Plus, when I would kind of do things like that and I'd go off the end of the field and turn round and leave it running because it didn't really matter, it does because it's costing you money now. So it, it makes a huge amount of difference. It really does. On a slight side note, people have commented to me today on various different forums, whether it be on my videos or on Facebook or direct message me on various different ways, um, that the uh, repair, the damage on tools is horrendous. Apparently, I think someone did a couple of fields of ploughing or cultivating, and the cultivator had worn down to a point where it would only run at three miles an hour. So they had to repair it. That seems excessive very, very quickly. I can't believe that farmers would be repairing. I mean, you do maintenance, of course you do, but to, for it to be that badly damaged in that amount of time? I don't know. Anyway, we've done this now, so pretty much. And to be fair, we've only used, what, 300 litres? Why is this not the same job complete? There we go. Contract on field 26 is finished. Now, I could have turned that off then I didn't need to carry on that because I've just wasted a bit of my fertilizer but anyway so we've we're down to 1686 so we haven't used a huge amount on that field but that's now left in this tank problem is these are leased vehicles so I've got a situation now where I've got a leased vehicle and a leased spreader that's got my fertilizer in it which is the beauty of being able to unload that really makes a huge huge difference so here's the thing, when I get back to the store now, I've got two options open to me. Because these are leased vehicles, they've got to go back, they don't belong to me. Now what I can do is what I've already shown you. If I press R1 and then do triangle for unload, that will unload that fertiliser from the back and put it back into a pallet. Which is fine, because that's mine, that means that sits to one side and I can give the vehicles back. If I do that, when I give the vehicles back, I'll get paid what they were going to pay me, less what the leasing fee was, so I should get about 1500 what I can do is leave this fertiliser in here and take the whole lot back and what it will do is it will give me my payment less the leasing fee but then it will give me a bit of money for the fertiliser left in there which is great, that's fantastic but there's a better way of dealing with this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload it because there's over 1000 I've got two pallets sitting there so what I'm going to do now, now that I don't have to go back to the actual um, return point, I can just do it from the menu I'm on contracts, top one says fertilising and completed at the bottom it says back or complete if I press um, square I will get my payment now it says 1,491 so yeah it was the contract reward plus uh, reduce, taking off the leasing cost Look, put my teeth back in so yeah about 1,500 so that was what I was expecting which is fantastic, 1,500 I've now got this here so here's the trick. What I'm going to do, and this is just for the, just doing this, this isn't coming out of my budget, but I'm going to lease a tractor and I'm going to lease um, the fertilizer and I'm going to show you something. So very quickly, I'll do that. Now it didn't matter what tractor, and that's the smallest fertilizer spread there is at the moment, but that's fine. So I'm going to jump in this and I've got to get this the right, the right way around and explain it clearly so I don't make an absolute hash of it. So what I could do now if I wanted to is take both of those fertiliser pallets back to the sell point over there and just sell them back. I can do that, of course I can. But here's what you can do instead. Now, I need to remember which one, I don't know which one of these has got the most in. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll just show you first. I'll just refill this. This might be the 1000 one. It could be the one that's got 600. Oh, wait. That's the one with 686. Okay. So now I know that 686 is the figure I've got to keep in my head. So I'm going to come to one side here. When you unload, you can't do anything about it because it unloads in one hit. Bang. Empty. So what I can do now is when I refill, I'm going to refill all of it 
bar a little bit. I'm just going to leave a little bit behind. So it was on 686, so I want to stop it before it gets that. So if I go L3, 4, 5, 6, stop there. Right, so in here I've got 667. That's mine to do with as I wish at the moment. In that pallet, there should be a tiny fractional amount in there left in that. That's all I've left in that now, in theory. If I grab some of the pallet forks, or I could have a front loader, it really doesn't matter which. And now what I'm going to do is take this to the sell point, because I can sell it back. That's absolutely fine. If I can get that just right. So, that's got 19, 19 litres in it. Fantastic. And here's where the hack is, the glitch is. I'm sure this will get patched at some point. But what will happen now is when I put this down to sell it, for some reason, this is probably not going to work now after saying that. Now this is taking it as a returned vehicle. So when I click on here, it says, oh look, you've got a pallet. You haven't gone to full upright in hours. The value of that pallet is 1,440. Hmm, is it? There's only 19 litres in it. That's what they're going to pay me. I'm going to take that all day long. So what I can do now, having done the contract, having made my money, took a bit of a hit, I paid for my fertiliser out of my own pocket, which I can keep to one side, what I can do now, if I jump back into here, it's a bit fiddly, to be fair, I can unload again, what have I got in there, 667, so I'll refill again, and I don't want to get to 667, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 661. <laughs> I really do need to be stopping a lot sooner than that. So there should only be six litres in that pallet now. There'll be six litres in this pallet. Six whole litres. If this works again, it'll be a miracle. So what I could keep doing... This is bizarre, it's crazy, but it works. Um, like I say, I'm sure this will get sorted out. Um, so you can load and unload your fertiliser, seed, etc, etc. But by doing this, which like I say, it's not, you know... Probably not at all ethical, but... It does, that's not on properly at all, that's the worst pallet stacking uh, loading you're ever going to see. Um, farm dog's whining, I'm not too sure why. I will check him in a moment. Take this to the cell point, pop it down. Now I could do this actually and just have a whole load one at a time and put that off there. Go to the cell point and it says, oh thank you for returning this, I've left the pallet forks on there. How did I manage to do that? <laughs> Bear with me one moment while I retrieve my pallet forks. That's what I meant to do. Thank you. I go back onto here and it says, Thank you so much. 1,440 euros. Pounds, dollars or euros. Thank you. That had next to nothing in it. And I got 1,440. I could keep doing that until this is empty. Unload it, refill, leave five litres in it. I could do that so I've got another 20 pallets all sat back here because I've unloaded them. Um, take them all back here and get 1,440 back for each one. Now you imagine when you buy these bigger ones that cost like 2,400 each, and we'll just have a quick look in this menu. The pallets, 2,400, 2,400. Um, if I did that with each of those and I got back nearly 2,400 for each one, I'm quids in. I'm, I'm making a killing on that. Yeah, these... Hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, 1,005... No, hang on. Oh, 1,600. There you go. So the fertiliser. I'm getting 1,440 back on the, each one of those. So I'm making a loss of 140 pounds, euros, or dollars on each one. And each one only had, like, five, six, seven litres in it. I mean, it's crazy. It's weird. It works. I don't know why it works or how it works, but it is working. I unload. Got another one there. Um, refill to one, two, three, four, five. Stop there, for example. So I've now got a pallet with maybe 50 litres in it, just over, whatever that works out at. Take that back. I'll get another. Now, this was the one that had 600 litres in it, this one. That one's still got 1,000 in it. 
and I could do that repeatedly with that as well. So anyway, there you go, there's the hack. To start off with, the loading and unloading of pallets, that's a new feature in FS19, and I love it. I think it's brilliant, makes life so much easier when you're switching over between things, or if you just want to store them, or whatever you want to do, or you're selling a piece of machinery that's got seed or fertilizer in it, that's a brilliant new feature. This is a bit of a weird hack, a bit of a way of making a little bit of extra money back if you want to. It's a bit fiddly, it's a bit time consuming, but it does work. So, I hope you found this useful, informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. But more importantly, please, please, please go over, check out Golf Cart Jockey's channel, give him a like, subscribe. I want to get him to a thousand. I want him to get him beyond a thousand. Please, that would make my day. Check out all the other guys as well. Not, you know... <laughs> Other YouTubers are available. Um, anyway, whatever you should choose to do, and I hope you choose to do the right thing. Thanks for watching.